The Speaker of the Lok Sabha is the presiding officer of the Lok Sabha House of the People, the lower house of the Parliament of India. The Speaker is elected in the very first meeting of the Lok Sabha following general elections. Serving for a term of five years, the Speaker chosen from amongst the members of the Lok Sabha House of People, and is by convention a member of the ruling party or alliance. The current Speaker is Samitra Mahajan of the Bharatiya Janata Party, who is presiding over the 16th Lok Sabha. She is the second woman to hold the office, after her immediate predecessor Mira Kumar. Powers and functions of Speaker The Speaker of the Lok Sabha conducts the business in-house, and decides whether a bill is a money bill or not. They maintain discipline and decorum in the House and can punish a member for their unruly behavior by suspending them. They also permit the moving of various kinds of motions and resolutions such as a motion of no confidence, motion of adjournment, motion of censure and calling attention notice as per the rules. The Speaker decides on the agenda to be taken up for discussion during the meeting. The date of election of the Speaker is fixed by the President. Further, all comments and speeches made by members of the House are addressed to the Speaker. The Speaker also presides over the joint sitting of both Houses of the Parliament of India. The counterpart of the Speaker in the Rajya Sabha Council of the States is its chairperson, the Vice President of India is the ex officio chairperson of the Rajya Sabha. On the order of precedence, the Speaker of Lok Sabha ranks sixth, along with the Chief Justice of India. The Speaker is answerable to the House. Both the Speaker and Deputy Speaker may be removed by a resolution passed by the majority of the members. Removal of the Speaker Speaker can be removed by the Lok Sabha by a resolution passed by an effective majority of the House as per Articles 94 and 96. Speaker is also removed on getting disqualified for being Lok Sabha member under Sections 7 and 8 of Representation of the People Act, 1951. This would arise out of Speaker's wrong certification of a bill as money bill inconsistent with the definition given in Articles 110 of the Constitution. When courts uphold the unconstitutional act of the Speaker for wrong certification of a bill as money bill, it amounts to disrespecting the Constitution deserving conviction under Prevention of Insults to National Honor Act, 1971 which is applicable for disqualification of Speaker's Lok Sabha membership under Section 8K of Representation of the People Act, 1951. However the omissions in the procedure committed by the Speaker in the Lok Sabha can not be challenged in court of law per Article 122. Topic. Pro tem speaker After a general election and the formation of a new government, a list of senior Lok Sabha members prepared by the legislative section is submitted to the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs, who selects a pro tem speaker. The appointment has to be approved by the President, the first meeting after the election when the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker are selected by members of the Parliament is held under the pro tem speaker. In absence of the Speaker, the Deputy Speaker acts as Speaker and in the absence of both a committee of six members selected by the Speaker will act as Speaker according to their seniority. Eligibility criteria to become the Speaker of the Lok Sabha is He or she must be a citizen of India He or she must not be less than 25 years of age, and He or she should not hold any office of profit under the Government of India, or a state government. List of speakers <laughs> See also Parliament of India President of India Vice President of India, Vice President of India.